with me. I want to taste it. I want to experience. The Holy Spirit gives you fervent desires to know more and more. He will draw us near to God, one step further. The way we can have an intimate fellowship. Now I know God is just embracing me. Wherever I am, I have no fear. Instead, I have full of peace and joy that God has given me so that I can sing and praise. I can lift up my hands to God. God, thank you. In the midst of these sufferings, you are with me. I have hope. You have given me power to overcome. So that's the difference. So look at this, the description from Hebrew poet. How beautiful it is. That's what God wants from us. That's why this song song's in the Bible. Why is it in the Bible? He never mentioned the name of God in this book at all. He just is describing the relationship between man and woman. It's a married couple. I think they already experienced that. The intimate relationship. But what about singles? How can we taste and experience the intimate relationship with God? Number one is for single man and woman, intense longing. Intense longing. And fervent desire means what? Firing up. Holy Spirit come and fire you up. To come near to God and to know who Jesus is. So that's the beauty. So initially, without intense longing in your heart, in your life, nothing is going to satisfy you in this world. Nothing. When you have that relationship with God, then everything will become peace, at peace. The way you see is totally different. So the Holy Spirit is going to come and do His work in our lives. So intense longing is the number one. Go down to the next one. And fervent desire. It's not only our strength and power, but Holy Spirit has to move on. So we need to be awakened by the power of the Holy Spirit that we have a new life. And I am saved. And I have an assurance that Jesus is my Savior. When He comes back, I can be with Him. See, that is the salvation, assurance of salvation. If you don't have it, you cannot have fervent desires. You cannot have intimate fellowship. So that's what she is telling the listeners and readers even today. In other words, she's just fed up with the ordinary spirituality in her life. I want more supreme. I want more strong and higher spirituality in my life. Because ordinary spiritual life doesn't make her happy. So I want to know. I have more desire to know Him. So intimacy of God is very important in our lives. So every day you need to have intense longing in your heart. God, I want to know You. And the way He will give you power to draw near to God step by step. So that we can sense that, we can hear the voice of God. 
the way by His power we can live. See, when He draws us to God, then He will lead us into God's way, not our ways. See, whenever we say, okay, I claim to be a Christian, Jesus is my Savior, but that's not on Jesus What do you say? Agenda. But God, although I claim myself to be a Christian, but I live on my own agenda. Whenever it's suitable to me, I use the name of Jesus Christ. If it's no good, we just don't say. See, Solomon says, I am tired. I am fed up. How can I go alone? How can I live in this way? So now he, she's asking. So this is just the, the language in Hebrew because Solomon didn't use even not once the name of Jesus Christ or God. So the king represents God because king has every authority and power to rule that country. So we must acknowledge the king is our own savior. Okay. So I, I put this verse, 1 Timothy 1.5. Okay, all believers will be filled with love that comes from a pure heart. That's an intense longing. And a clear conscience, fervent desire. God has given us a conscience to discern. It doesn't matter whether you're a believer or non-believer. As we are born, she has given us conscience to discern what is good and what is bad. And genuine faith, intimate fellowship. Genuine faith means if you're not in Christ, it's not genuine. It's a fake. But as long as you're in Christ, Christ gives us a power to believe Him and to do all things that He wants from us. That's a genuine faith. That's why Paul says, examine yourself, whether you are in the faith or not. In other words, you're in Christ or not. The moment you're out of Christ, it's a fake faith. You're just imitating, pretending that you are a son of or daughter of Christ. But sooner or later, people will find out who you are because that's a fake faith. That's why it's very important. Love, okay? We must be filled with God's love. That comes from pure heart. And what? clear conscience and genuine faith. So as you read this song of songs that you just shift your perspective. This is the relationship between his children and the Lord. So with that respect when you read you will see the intimate relationship with God the Sulamite woman desired. So we can learn out of this context. It's not just to mirror the relationship between man and woman and the marriage, but the relationship between the church and the Christ. Okay, let's pray.